So the temperatures rising are predicted to be into the 30s tomorrow and there's a heat health alert for London. Uh, while some welcome the warmth, for others it's a discomfort. And what about if you're a hay fever sufferer? Well, that can also be a challenge. So let's join Thomas in Grosvenor Square for us this evening. Thomas. Well, Riz, it's days like this when we realise that we're really spoilt in London for all the fabulous green spaces and parks that we have. I'm down here at Grosvenor Park or Grosvenor Square in central London and there are plenty of people still around, some trying to grab a few hours of that last evening sun, but the vast majority of people are under the canopy of these huge ancient trees. And I'll have more about what's happening here in a moment. But with trees, well, there comes pollen and for pot with pollen, it means that for some there comes hay fever. It's a bit of a nightmare. I have to hold my hand up to that. I spent most of today in a dark room and many people are saying this year their hay fever has been perhaps worse than ever before. So we sent out Wendy Hurl to investigate. A hay fever sufferer's worst nightmare. Pollen whooshing into the air as grass is cut in summer. Because while the sun is shining, insects buzzing around flowers, grasses swaying in a gentle breeze. If you're like me and 16 million others across the country, you'll have a runny nose, a scratchy throat, itchy eyes and constant sneezing. This hay fever season seems worse than others. So what is hay fever? When a pollen grain first enters your body, it is almost immediately met with a bouncer of your this body. This is the science bit from the Royal Institution. Basically, it's your body's immune response to something it thinks is harmful. We're talking hay fever. How is it for you? It's been awful this year. Like, really, 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 bad. really bad. Like, you can probably hear it on my voice. It's like bunged up, itchy, painful eyes, the lot. I think the, the tablets, like, you know, managing it helps a lot. Um, but in the mornings, it's, it's grim. Everyone says it feels like hay fever is worse this year. Is that true? And what's causing it? So in order for plants to produce pollen, they need a, a, like a lot of dry, warm, sunny days. And then we've had very, very mild winters. So all that does is it means that the, the pollen seasons this year have started earlier, so we get an increase of pollen. If, we, if hay fever is not untreated, um, it can actually lead to the development of asthma in some people. So it's really important to treat hay fever symptoms. So we hay fever sufferers must have remedies and tricks. Stay inside mid-morning when the pollen count is highest and run a mile from the lovely lawn maintenance teams keeping our parks tidy. Well, that certainly answers a lot of my questions. And if you want more information, you can go to allergyuk.org for advice on how to manage your symptoms. Now, either I'm a glutton for punishment or just too, don't enjoy being out in the sun, but I've come under one of the canopies of these trees to talk a little bit more about what's happening down here at Grosvenor Square. This evening, lots of ancient trees, lots of kind of quite parched grassland and then one single hedge around the perimeter but earlier this week uh, the owners of this Grosvenor got permission to change it and we're with the project lead Lucy Puddle now who's going to tell us first of all about a project to rewild this place briefly when was it actually wild so originally it was laid out in the 1720s and during its time it's evolved in lots of different guises and was once a wilderness woke and our proposals seek to bring that back in part. So what does that mean to the Londoner who's used to it as a, a place to sunbathe? So that means that within the centre of the gardens where you were standing earlier, there will be a central oval lawn where people can enjoy sunny days like today. And around the perimeter, there will be what's called the shaded garden, offering respite on warm days like this and an opportunity for people to wander around the gardens and enjoy nature. And what's the benefit for Londoners other than it looking good? For me, it probably somewhere I'll stay away from, but what's the benefit in terms of biodiversity? So I think the lockdowns that we all endured recently only went to show the importance of green space and how much we value nature. Uh, the benefits will be vast, so they offer an opportunity for people to come down here and 
enjoy the gardens, the peace and tranquility, to reconnect with nature and to um, just spend time with friends and, and do leisure activities. We deliberately want the gardens to sort of remain that remain uh, with that tranquil feeling that you've got now, but there'll be a much more enhanced planting regime and new trees so that people can enjoy nature. And perhaps worth saying as well that the trees that you see, these beautiful ancient trees, they're not going anywhere. So a handful of the uh, lower grade trees will be removed in favour of new planting, but we're also planting 24 new trees. The very ancient trees that you see will remain. Fantastic. Lucy, thank you very much. Well, they only got permission for this earlier this week. There's a lot of work to do before you see any change down here at Grosvenor Square. Back to you, Riz. Thanks very much, Thomas. Uh, so, glutton for punishment there. I'm a fellow Hayfever sufferer, so thank you so much for that.